Hello Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Would you believe we're almost uh, approaching the end of the year? Very exciting time. This will be a general reading, drawing out some messages for you for the month of September. Just please feel free to browse the channel for your other readings. I have linked a few of them to this video. Otherwise, don't forget to leave a like or a subscribe if you enjoy this content. This reading can be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's have a look. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Mm. Okay, let's start off with the Five of Wands. Uh, coming into the month with a surge of energy here, especially if you have people you're involved with in creative pursuits, collaborative environments, or if you're involved in relationships here, the Five of Wands can often be seen as a bit of dysfunction or a lot of uh, differences of opinion that will be coming forward here. It could be in relation to family because you do have the family legacy card with the Ten of Pentacles. So I'm wondering if this could be in relation to the home or around the home, uh, relationships, friendships, tensions possibly coming through. Um, but a lack of uh, trying to lay foundations, but there's a lot of, um, it's an overwhelming energy, a lot of different opinions, uh, different thoughts, different remarks, different um, ideas of thinking. But this could also be internal because you do have the nine of cups and although that uh, below the five of wands, and although that is seen as the wish card, the dream card, the cups rules emotions. So it could be emotional um, conflict that's taking um, shape at the beginning excuse me, of the month. But look, that Nine of Cups is the dream card, the wish card, and you are the water sign here, Scorpio. And the fact that you've come up with the death card here, um, I think it's going to be quite an outstanding month for you. Um, there's a lot of different tasks you're, you're going to complete or set into motion here, which is a very exciting time for you. Uh, I think you might be really busy with work, maybe adventure, maybe the past, travel, you know, launching things into the world, new opportunities. Um, you know, you've got the dream card. So dreams and wishes are coming true. They're coming to fulfillment here, uh, Scorpio. So that's very, very exciting. Uh, because now I do want to mention, because you had that Ten of Pentacles, it can be an Earth sign, so a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. But traditionally, the Ten of Pentacles is seen as a card of legacy. It is seen as a card of business. It is seen a card of networking and connecting. So I do feel you've got new beginnings coming up because the full card initiates new beginnings. It could be with an Aries or a fellow Scorpio. It um, could also be with an Earth sign, but you do have that Ace here. So I'm wondering, uh, you know, it could be a call to adventure. It could be a new perception of things. But there could be some sort of reunion that takes place and it might be from someone from your past, a past lover, past family friend, a past uh, friend, a past, um, you know, someone that has even passed on. That could also be the case for some of you with the Ten of Pentacles. But I do believe in your career. Um, there's a lot of um, possibly new ventures and risky moves. And I say risky because the full... Uh, addresses things or approaches things with a bit of irrationality. Um, sometimes it's good to sort of jump into the moment and follow your intuition. There's no doubt about this, but it could be some risky moves here, but they could eventually pay off. Uh, it could be quite a financially lucrative month for you uh, during this month. Possibly new offers of work that are coming through that you're destined for to, uh, destined to do. Now this could tie in because the death card brings a lot of supernatural and metaphysical energy. This could tie in with your life or soul's purpose here. So a lot of you might be uncovering a new direction in your career or in your life that you'll want to um, undergo. Whether it's immigrating, whether it's a new career path, whether it's for following a spiritual or religious journey. There's something that's going to be awoken within you here, Scorpio. Um, it's a new direction and it's definitely destined here for you with the death card. So that is indeed very, very powerful. Could also be a new earth sign coming into your path, a Taurus, a Capricorn or Virgo. It is the hand of God here. Um, I absolutely love that. It almost looks like the sun. Sun sign would be Aries, which has come up in your chart. It's illumination, but you're also going, there's, there's doors. You're going through a walkway here and it's uh, it's almost like you're transitioning into a new chapter of your life. So that is quite exciting. Uh, the death card also brings major change and transformation. It is a bit of a metamorphosis here. So for some of you, uh, there is 
doors that are opening up okay closing one door to the past and looking into the future the fact that the death card sits facing nothing facing the future it really says there's going to be massive changes that will creep up into your life during the time of september maybe towards the end of the month you have the wish card the dream card absolutely beautiful your wish is my command uh it's almost like the genie emerges from the bottle here. All your cups are lined up in a row. It's all there. You just have to ask and you shall receive. Now, for some of you, you want to ask for help or you want to ask for assistance or something might have been a little bit overwhelming for you. Now is the time to do that. Now would be the time to act on these things. So you need to take that into consideration. But dreams, wish, wishes, hope, and, for, uh, and all these beautiful manifestations will come true. I think there's a lot of dreams that are coming uh, true for you, Scorpio. And it's... The Things that you've dreamt for a while now. It's things that you've uh, held on to, okay? You've been meaning to attract this into your life and it's coming in the time of September. It's destined for you, Scorpio. Don't question it. It absolutely is destined and you're going to feel an array of very, very positive and encouraging emotions during this time. If you are dealing with a fellow Scorpio or a water sign, a Cancer or the Pisces, uh, I do feel as though things will be going very, very well with you. Nine is higher than the five, so you will overcome those obstacles and things will align very, very nicely for you. Things will become more orderly from the chaos. From chaos comes order. Uh, from dysfunction comes function and smoothness. So uh, major transitions, but all for the better, all for the more positive here, Scorpio. So stay, uh, stay um, positive. Now, moving on, you have the full card. So this could possibly be a new romance or a new addition to the family. It might be new income streams as well. The full is a bit of an adventurer, a bit of a nomad here. So there's possibly travel opportunities. Uh, travel could be calling you. Destiny could be calling you. But there is movement. And I love that the full is blissfully unaware he's getting his wishes fulfilled. Can you see how he looks towards the Nine of Cups? His eyes are closed. He's got the sun behind him. He's got the white flower. He's surrendering to his wishes, surrendering to the universe. Very, very powerful meaning here, Scorpio. Um, a lot of you will have your dreams and wishes fulfilled this September, and you're not going to see how it's going to come about. And that shouldn't occupy your mind. We don't need to know how, you know, sometimes we get lost in these complexities of analyzing um, from a realistic standpoint how things can come to fruition or how that can happen. But the universe finds a way. If something is meant for you, Scorpio, the universe will find a way to bring it to you. And my God, are you receiving some blessings this month? Very exciting. But look, it could be a new romance as well. You could be reconnecting with someone here and you're creating a legacy of some kind. But definitely adventure or a foreign lover is coming in around you. Travel plans, travel opportunities um, can lead to a lot of destined changes here for you. Uh, definitely. Now, air, it's because it carries Aries energy, it's, it's very powerful, it's very motivating, but it's also very impulsive. I feel as though some impulsive decisions might lead you to wish or dream fulfillment. And it's things that you might do on a whim, okay? It's things that you're not really going to think about, Scorpio. The the fool, as I said, I mean, he, he, he goes with his intuition, okay? Rather than logistically or logically reasoning something or understanding something, um, he follows his heart. Um, and I think that's definitely what you're doing in September. A lot of you will find your soul's purpose, your life mission, um, what you're set out to do in this life. Uh, there's a quest for deeper meaning, a deeper connection. Um, in the grand scheme of things here, Scorpio, I do see that you're analyzing the legacy you're leaving behind in the world, the name you leave behind in the world, the impression you leave behind on your children, on your friends, you know, the kind of life you want to lead. So things are getting much, much deeper here. And also this is further reiterated by the fact that the death card has come up, and which is your sign. Um... It can be mysteries, it can be skeletons in the closet, it can also be releasing skeletons in the closet, releasing suppressed emotions or trauma, um, because, you know, it's almost like the sun, okay, you can see the sun dawning here, but it's also here, so the fact that the sun, you know, has come up it quite a few times in this reading, uh, I feel as though it's all about illumination, so some sort of path is going to be illuminated to you, uh, it's all going to make sense, things are going to dawn on you. And there's a change. You're changing, Scorpio. Okay, I think it's for the better. 
Um, but there could also be the dynamic of a relationship changing. Uh, this could also be symbolic of the past or mysteries coming to light. The sun brings illumination. It shines light on things that have been kept in the dark. Secrets, mysterious things. You know, it's not always um, these things. It could be uh, shining light on, on what you really want to do in this life, what you're setting out to achieve, the, the, the impact you want to create towards your community, towards your loved ones, towards the world here, Scorpio. So a lot of depth to this uh, energy. But look, it can also be a divine message or someone that has passed around you. There could be losses for some of you. Yes, um, you might be celebrating the anniversary of a loved one. You might hear news of someone's passing. The death card comes in many forms and we have to accept it as it is. Um, all, you know, life forms, pass, pets, people. Um, we, we can lose uh, earthly things, money, houses, assets. It, it, loss is a part of gain. It's just as a part of it's a part of life here, Scorpio. So some of you might see some losses, whether it's financial, whether it's in the family, whether it's loss of you know inhibitions, whether it's loss of um, you know conflict, whatever it is, major transitions taking place here. But also the past coming in. Okay, some of you might have someone that wants to make you an offer from the past, a previous employer, a previous lover, um, an offer to reconcile. An offer of adventure, um, a past lover, or you might be reminiscing about your past, reflecting on your past a lot. Maybe that's what's going to open those doors and really open your eyes here with the full card and open your heart. Um, I do feel as though some of you might have been reserved or hesitant to open your heart towards something, but I think you're going to open up your heart to them, Scorpio, whoever it is, an offer, a person, a, a hobby a life pursuit, a life goal, a life mission, you're opening your heart and you're becoming much, much more receptive, um, okay? But great reading. I think you have a very, um, very deep and spiritual September coming up. So I hope that's been enjoyable for you, Scorpio. Take care, have a great month, and we shall be connecting next week. Thanks again, everyone. Bye for now.